Hello and welcome to you in this new video which will be specifically for wingers and the skiers you can do either on the side or near the touch line to either cutting or go to cross the ball. It is a must for wingers to be able to beat the opponent in 1v1 situations and this video is a compilation of skills that can help you do that. Remember though, all these skills are very useful and effective on a football pitch but you should not use them every time you have the ball. Don't dribble every time, don't dribble too much, always analyze the situation and use the skill which is useful in the right situation at the right time. This video is the long version when you will have the skills as well as the tutorials on how to do each and every skill. However, if you're only interested in the skills and no explanation whatsoever, you can go on the description box below and the link will be there. I hope you will enjoy the video and it will be useful to you. For the first step, you should push the ball with the inside of your strong foot laterally. The step number two is to do an inside step over with your strong foot to deceive the defender as if you are going to push the ball in the same direction. Make sure to rotate your hips slightly to really fake the defender. And finally, the step number three is to push the ball with the outside of your strong foot 45 degrees in front of you to leave your opponent for dead. Together, it will look like this. For the first step, you have to lift your leg in the air as you see it on the screen. This skill is not useless but aim to emphasize the body feint that will follow. Because whenever the defender sees your foot in the air, he is ready to anticipate on your next move. Notice also the standing foot position. The step number two is to make the defender believe you are going backwards by doing a body feint in that direction. When you do that, the defender will usually stop or coming towards you. And finally, the third and last step is to accelerate away as quick as you can with your strong foot in front of you at 45 degrees to leave the defender for dead. All together, this is how it should be. For the first part, you should push the ball with the outside of your foot at a 45 degree angle in front of you. Then, you should get the ball back with the inside of the same foot by using the part close to your toes. A tip for you will be to get the ball back as far to your standing foot as possible to really fake the defender. All together, it will give you this. For the first step, you should make sure that the ball is moving as the skill uses momentum to surprise and trigger the defender. The faster you are going with the ball, the harder it will be for the defender to keep up with you. And for the second step, you have to hit the ball with the inside of your foot behind your standing leg. Make sure to jump just before hitting the ball, which will enable you to change direction even faster. This is all together. For the first step, the ball should be moving laterally towards the side of your standing foot. Then, the second step, which is the most important one, is to do a feint with both your strong foot and your standing foot. The feint with your strong foot should aim to fake the defender as if you were going to push it with the inside. The feint with your standing foot should be to emphasize the one done with your strong foot. Also, make sure to jump slightly when you do this. Notice that both of my feet are not on the ground. And finally, you should push the ball with the outside of your foot to leave the defender for dead. That's everything together.
For the first step, you should make sure the ball is moving. Then for the second step, you should lift your strong foot to act as if you are going to push the ball with the outside. And the third step is that instead of hitting the ball with the outside of your foot, you have to hit it with the inside but more accurately the part near to your toes. Make sure to jump slightly at the same time to propel yourself forward. Together, it should be like this. For the step number one, you will lift your strong foot as if you wanted to push the ball with the inside. And you should also do this feint with your upper body. For the second step, you have to emphasize this combo by doing a body feint to the side with your standing foot. And finally, for the third and last step, at the same time that you have done the feint with your standing foot, you have to do a night cut forward at 45 degrees. It is really important to do it at the same time, otherwise the combo will not be as effective. Together, it looks like this. For the first step, you should push the ball with your sole towards the side of your standing foot. The step number two is to get the ball back with a curved turn, like most people call it, to push the ball in the opposite direction. And the third step is that once you are back on your toes, you should push the ball with the inside of your strong foot to get away. Together, it is like this. For the first step, you should roll the ball forward slightly towards one side with your sole of your strong foot. Make sure to turn your hips slightly while you're doing that, as you can see on the screen. And the second step is to do an inside step over to feign the defender. The skill should be done as quick as possible and the power with you roll the ball from the first step will help you accelerate away. Together, it's like this. The first step is to hit the ball with your strong foot to bring in behind you on the side. The reason why you're doing that is for the defender to come towards you. And for the second step, you will have to do a scoop turn with the inside of your foot to bring the ball back forward and accelerate away. Make sure to not hit the ball but more drag it with you when you do that. Pay also attention to the direction of your standing foot during this skill to do it perfectly. Together. It should be like this. For the first step, you should do a step over with the leg you want to stop the ball with. The step number two is to push the ball with the inside of your foot towards the side of your leg you just done the step over with. Make sure to jump at the same time that you do the inside touch. The third step is to stop the ball by touching it with the inside of the foot which was in the air. And finally, the last step is to get away with the outside of the other foot to avoid the defender getting the ball back from you. Together, it gives you this.
the first step is to be moving towards the defender. Whether it is slowly, jogging or even sprinting, it is important that you are moving when you are doing this feint because it uses your momentum. For the step number two, you should be doing a feint with your strong foot as if you wanted to push the ball with the inside. To do this feint perfectly, it is important that your standing foot be close to the ball. Step number three. While doing the first feint, you should emphasize it by doing another feint, but this time with your standing foot. Make sure to do it with your upper body too, and not only the legs, so the defender really believes you're going this way. And finally, for the step number four, you should do an outside forward cut to definitely get rid of your opponent who has probably went the other way. Done like Leo, it should look like this. The first step is to push the ball 45 degrees in front of you with the inside of your foot, but the part close to your toes. Then, the second step is immediately after you have pushed the ball with the inside to push it with the outside, with the part close to your toes once again. Together, it will look like this. For the first step, you should ensure that the ball is moving to give you momentum. The step number two is to do a light touch with your strong foot to position the ball perfectly for the skill. Then the third step is to do a step over with your weak foot to act as if you are going to push the ball with the outside of your weak foot. But instead, you do the step over. Make sure to go around the ball. For the last step, you should push the ball with the outside of your strong foot to be able to accelerate away and leave the defender for dead. Together, it will look like this. For the first step, you should touch the ball with your sole to bring it towards you. Then, for the second step, you should push the ball with the inside of your weak foot at a 45 degree angle in front of you. And finally, for the third step, you should get the ball back with the inside of your strong foot using the part close to your toes. Done like El Fenomeno, it would give you this. For the first step, you should put your strong foot just below the ball as if you wanted to do a scoop pass using your outside. You should also make sure that your standing foot is right next to the ball. Then, for the second step, you should lift the ball with the outside of your foot using the part close to your toes. And finally, for the last step, you should get the ball back with the inside of the same foot using the part close to your toes once again to push it in front of you at a 45 degree angle. Together, it should look like this. For the first step, you should put your standing foot or the foot which you want to throw the ball in the air with just in front of the ball as you see it on the screen. The step number two will be to take the ball between your legs using the inside of your supporting foot and the side of the heel of your standing foot, just like that. For the third and last step, all you have to do is to throw the ball in the air straight ahead of you 
using your standing foot. To do this correctly, make sure to jump and rotate your body at the same time. Together, it gives you this. For the first step, you should push the ball in front of you with the outside of your foot, but the part close to your heel. Then, the second part, you should get the ball back using the outside of the same foot, but with the part you used to drive the ball this time. Done like CR7, it should be like this. For the step number one, you will have to put your standing foot in front of the ball slightly on the side as if you were going to do a Rabona. Make sure to swing your leg and lift your arm to really act as if you were going to do it. And the second step is to rather than doing the Rabona, you just top the ball with the outside of your strong foot. Together, it's like this. The basis of this skill is to be moving. The faster you are going with the ball, the harder the skill will be, but also the more effective it will be to eliminate any defender. For the second step, you will have to do a light touch to position the ball perfectly for the skill. The light touch will enable you to emphasize the feint which is coming. The first step is the step over with your strong foot. Make sure to really go around the ball and to also drop your shoulder when you're doing it. And finally, the last step is to accelerate the other way with the outside of your weak foot. Make sure to push the ball far enough to outspeed your opponent. Together, it will look like this. <laughs> 